and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over the Ultimate Legends as well as kind of some information regarding the confirmed golden tickets. So we already got the first few three that we, well, the first three. There's still, there's ton, just 10 total people. So coming out slowly. Not everyone is Twitter, not everyone's public and talking about it, so that is probably why. Some of them might be confirmed already. There might already be a you know a Vic in the works, a Young in the works, whatever, and we don't know about it because they're not on social media. But for the most part, we're getting some of them confirmed because a lot of people do happen to have Twitter or even create them just to tag some YouTubers in them. So some of them have been confirmed. Now, these next two I'm going to tell you guys in just a moment, they are mo they were more than likely confirmed. One is actually in the process of changing, so I'm just going to reference that to you guys. And the other one is a group of players that are going to be picked. Now, I'll get over all, I'll get over all that in just a second. But guys, before we get into today's video, go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that on to boys. Come join the family. Give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure to comment down below if you guys need any help. Or put down below, guys, if you had a golden ticket, who would you have made? Let me know down below in the comment section. Now, let me go over to the auction block as I describe these players to you. So the first, one of the first golden tickets that were going to be made which I think he's in the process of changing because he got so much hate for it, was Lamar Jackson. So one of the guys was going to make Lamar Jackson quarterback golden ticket. Now, don't get me wrong, guys. I had no problem with it. I didn't. Because I told you guys how glitchy this, this Lamar would have been if we could have had him at the proper time. This next Lamar guy is going to be even glitchy. This next Lamar is going to probably have, like, base 98 speed. Going to get to 99 throw. Okay, this is the next Lamar power, like, chemmed up with everything. Going to probably have 99 speed, 99 throw power, 99 throw short, 95 throw mid. Like 90, 94 throw deep. And with chems and everything, probably get that up to 96, 97. His next card is going to be overpowered as hell. With four ability slots, which means you can get some crazy abilities on Lamar Jackson. He could probably even get human joystick because he will be 99 overall with 99 agility. So I think it's going to be super OP. And I think that that card would have been amazing. And the ability could have gotten him. Like, I don't even know. Dashing Deadeye, human joystick, escape artist. I don't even know what else you'd really need, but all I know is that that car would have been super glitchy, and I really had no problem with it, but a bunch of people hated on him. Twitter kind of went ballistic on him, saying, you know, that's such a waste, we already have a 98, get creative, and now the guy apparently is going to be switching his golden ticket choice, which I'm not really, I, I liked his golden ticket choice, so if you're if you're watching me and you're, you're here somewhere and you're listening, you know, I, I supported you, don't worry. I had no problem with the Lamar Jackson. I know it could be a little uncreative, which is completely understandable for the most, for the most part, because... It's looking like the hopes of Lamar Jackson is out the window just about now, or he'll just go under the covers and just say and just do it without saying a word again. Now the next guy is looking towards, I believe, a Cowboys guy. He's a Cowboys fan, so I believe the options are Ezekiel Elliott, Des Bryant, maybe a Dak, but I'm, I'm assuming he's probably headed towards a Zeke, a Zeke Elliott or a Dak Bra, Dak Bryant or Des Bryant. Now in terms of Des, I can't really confirm the stats for you guys of what it could potentially be because the issue with Des Bryant is that he hasn't had a, a card this year that's like you know usable so we're not gonna be able to really rack stack it up but like this this Ezekiel Elliott was really bad I mean the next Zeke will probably have like a 94 speed which kind of sucks because they're gonna make him super slow let's say they give Zeke a 95 speed which means you can power him up and chem oh you, can, you can't power them up you can chem him up to a 97 probably gonna take like a 99 break tackle gonna have a good truck and have good carry gonna have good catching gonna have good agility the four ability slots that Zeke could be very glitchy, especially on a Cowboys theme team. Gonna have to wait and see, although I would love a Zeke. Guys, I need, I need to get my coins up. I need to really get my coin stack up so I can go and compete, and I can go pick up some of these golden tickets when they come out for gameplays for you guys. I definitely want to pick them up, have them on my team. It'd be really fun to play with golden tickets, all those ability slots. Gonna be super overpowered. And now, if it was a Des Bryant, like I said, Des Bryant more than likely would have really good juke, really good spin, really good agility, really good elusiveness, really good like off the ball. I mean, uh, well, uh, behind the card stats, and then probably have, like only like a 94 speed, which would be a little bit on the slower side. Would have crazy catching, crazy route running, great juke, and great speed. Have everything else. And the speed would be on the slightly lower side because <clears throat> he was never exactly a burner. Like he's not like one of those. And I feel like they, they can't, it's hard to upgrade from a base gold. But it would be super cool to see a Des Bryant back in the game, prime Des Bryant. And then, of course, I'm still waiting on that RG3. If we get an RG3, guys, that'll be super hype. Throw back Redskins RG3. But guys, that pretty much wraps up the golden ticket part of this. Let's go ahead over to show you guys the Ultimate Legends. All right, guys, so starting with one of the first Ultimate Legends, we got Deacon Jones. Last time we saw Deacon Jones, he was a NFL 100 card. Now, to be honest with you guys, nobody really liked that NFL 100 Deacon Jones for some reason. I mean, I understand like it was one of the cheapest ones. No one cared for it. No one really wanted it, which is kind of a shame because I thought he would have been really good. He's usually super glitchy, six foot five. Now, I have, him, I have his other card up on my screen right now so I can compare when the time comes. Let's see his stats. So he's 6'5", 80 speed, 88 excel. So the athleticism is pretty good. 93 strength is a little bit low at this point in the game. 96 tackle, 96 player, that's good. 
95 block shot, 96 power move, and 90 finesse move. So, power this card up, came up, you can get up to 99 power move, probably close to 99 block shed, 99 play rec. His speed's good, excels good, not amazing, but it's pretty good. Now, compared to his other card, he has two better speed, two better excel, two better strength, four better tackle, three better play rec, four better block shed, four better finesse power move, and four better finesse move. So, initially, around the athleticism stuff, the card's very similar. But in terms of like pass rushing and everything, the card does get significantly better, which was expected with a th plus three overall at this point in the year. Card's decent. Now, to stack it up to like a guy like Aaron Donald, per se, who's a 98 powered up, Aaron Donald's way more athletic by a large margin, way stronger, less tackle, way uh, same play rec. S similar player, a block ship, but definitely better from Donald. Better power move and better for, way better finesse move for Donald. I think Donald far and away blows him away, which kind of sucks because Donald came out like two months ago. Three months ago, it kind of sucks that he even had it like in a way where he could be worse. But guys, we could have expected this. Now, see, Herman Moore is the next one wide receiver for the Detroit Lions. Now, I believe we have a um, like an upgradable captain, Herman Moore, right? Which kind of sucks. But let's see, ninety three speed, ninety six jump, ninety four catching, ninety six catch in traffic, ninety seven spec catch, ninety four short route running, ninety three medium route running, and ninety five deep route running. So. Kemmed up and powered up, this card's going to get to about a 96 speed, which is pretty solid. 99 jump, going to have like 99 spec catch, 99 catch traffic, going to have high 90 catching, going to have 99 deep route running possibly depending on the chem you put, going to have about 95 medium route, 96, 96 short route runner running. It's going to be a phenomenal route runner, phenomenal catcher, subpar athleticism. Now, don't get me wrong, you can, sac so you can sacrifice athleticism to get that level of route running and catching on a 6 foot 4 frame. Don't get me wrong. Now, let's compare him to Calvin because obviously that's what we're going to be looking at when it comes to six for four wide receivers. Now, if his route running and everything's significantly better than Calvin's, we can maybe justify getting him. But let's see. So, Calvin Johnson compared, they're both 97s. So, Calvin's faster by a large margin, can jump way better. Uh, catching's one less, but you can also power up Herman Moore. So, catching's going to be like two less. Catching traffic is one less, which is going to be two less. Spec catch is less. Short route running is less, medium route running is less, and deep route running is the same. So yeah, Herman Moore's going to be like a better route running catching version of Calvin Johnson. That's slightly smaller by the slightest margin and going to be a bit slower. So in my opinion, I'd probably, I probably, I don't know, it's going to be close. I'd probably end up staying with Calvin, but you can make the choice based on what you see. LTD, we got Alan Page, a defensive tackle for the Minnesota Vikings. Or depending on whatever card he's on, but I'm pretty sure this one's the Vikings. So let's see. Page was selected to the Pro Bowl nine times, named first team All Pro six times, and the NFL MVP in 1971. Six foot four LTD car gonna probably go for not too much because he's still defensive tackle. People usually don't go crazy, but great athleticism for a defensive tackle nonetheless. 84 speed, 89 excel, 91 strength, 93 tackle, 94 play rec, 92 block shed, 90 power move, and 95 finesse move. Now this card, so the athleticism is great. That's just one of the great factors of an Allen Page card. A level of athleticism, especially at the D tackle spot. So let's see, let's compare it to another top end defensive tackle like Warren Sapp. So compared to Warren Sapp, he's faster than Warren Sapp, but less excel, so they kind of even out. I actually think, no, Alan Page takes the athleticism in my opinion. Strength, Warren Sapp's stronger. Tackle, Alan Page is better. Play rec, they're about the same. Block shed, Alan, Warren Sapp's better. Power move, Warren Sapp's better. And finesse move, they're close. I think Warren Sapp is the better one overall, just based off that last block shed and power, and power move, because Warren Sapp powered up and kept up and get close to 99 shedding and uh, power move. Alan Payne's looks like the jack of all trades, but at this point in the year, where everyone has stud linemen and stud players, the jack of all trades might not get it done anymore. That's more earlier in the year. We're on a budget team. But guys, that is about it for this. Let's head on over to the man screen. All right, guys, that is about it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to down below. Hit that like button. Turn on that subscribe button or hit that subscribe button. Turn on that Odie Bell boys. Come join the family. I appreciate all you guys are still coming out at this point in the year. Thank you guys for showing support on a day to day basis. I definitely do appreciate that, guys. It's been awesome. It's been fun. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed today's legends. They were subpar. I don't think I'll be picking up any of them, but that's primarily because I'm saving coins for golden tickets, so don't, don't let that hold you back. And as far as the golden ticket confirmation, it's a cool cowboy, and I wonder who Lamar's going to be switched to, although Lamar would have been super cool. Don't get me wrong. But it is what it is, guys. Still super excited. When will they be dropping? Like I said, probably towards the end of March. I think with free agency and all the stuff coming out, Series 5, Series 6, I don't think that they'll be dropping just everything right now. So... More than likely, they'll be towards the end of March. But guys, it's better for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys later. Peace.